In this Adobe Captivate quick tip, I'll show you how to restrict your drag and drop interactions from accepting more than one object. I got an email from Jessica who was asking about drag and drop in Adobe Captivate. Currently, her interaction allows the user to drag multiple answers into any of her containers. Is there a way she can set it so that each container or drop target will only accept one answer? And hopefully this video will, will address Jessica's concerns and anyone else who has a similar concern with a drag and drop. So drag and drop in Adobe Captivate is really straightforward. Uh, let's set this one up here. I've put all the objects in place already. All I need to do is click on the interactions drop down icon and check uh, or select drag and drop. This will bring the wizard up here. I need to specify the drag sources by clicking the objects on the slide. Here's a shortcut. You can just use a selection box to select them all. I'm going to hit next. Do the same thing for my drop targets. Hit next. And now I need to identify the correct answers by mapping the drag sources to the correct drop targets. So I just need to click on that little plus icon and draw draw the little arrow over. As you can see, I've made this very easy for myself by having a very simple one-to-one -one relationship between these two. Um, now I hit finish and there we go. It's built all the basics there and I can drag my failure and success captions into a more appropriate location. And as you can see, there's a submit button already added. Now, as this stands right now, you, th you might think you're done. Let's just do a preview in browser and see how that looks. So here's where Jessica has run into some problems. Uh, a default drag and drop will allow you to drag all of these objects into the same container. And of course, that's not a desirable result. She only wants it to accept one answer and one answer only. So let's modify this so that it will do that for her. Uh, the first thing we need to do, I think, is we need to set up the snap behavior because, of course, as you notice, those uh, words on the right were overlapping with the titles. And how you can control that is you can select all of your drop targets and go into the Format tab of your drag and drop panel and choose a position that's appropriate for the way you set this up. In my case here, it would make sense to snap these objects to the right-hand side of the drop target so that the title will still appear. And that's easily done. All you got to do is that. The other thing I want users to be able to do is to uh, redrag objects that have been dragged over already. And that's just a nice little feature to, to, to your drag and drop that you can easily add by checking off the redrag the drop source. And this is from the options tab of the drag and drop panel. So that's all set up. And you think that would be enough, but we actually have one more thing to do. Uh, let's go back to the, uh, the format tab and we'll click on the first uh, drop target. And you'll see this button here called object actions. And it's sort of a hidden feature for those that are new to Adobe Captivate or to drag and drop may not uh, fully understand what this window is, is telling them. But let me explain it for you here. So as it stands, this manager tab here or manager box will allow you to drag any of your drag sources into it. We want to change that. We want to uncheck accept all and uh, ensure that the count is set to one. That's the default. It could be two or three, depending on the circumstances of your drag and drop, but we're going to leave it at one. And I'm going to change the behavior. On accept, we're going to replace any object that's already been there. Uh, right now, the default is go back, but I find replace makes a lot more sense for this type of interaction. And we'll click on OK and make the same changes to the rest of these drop targets. Very straightforward to do. So now I think we have something that's set up well. 
Let's do a preview of this in HTML5 in browser. And I think you'll see that this is a much better result and more appropriate for what Jessica is looking for. So here we go. The first thing I can do is I can drag my objects over. You can see they line up much nicer now. And we'll do the same for this one. But I've changed my mind. I think this one goes here. Ah, see, now it only accepts one object and sends the other one back. And of course, I can redrag any of these objects to a different drop target, which will completely change the results of what we're trying to accomplish here. So let's get these all correct. Hit submit. You get your success caption and you're away to the races. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this Adobe Captivate quick tip was useful, helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.